coming from the African, the marriage of cultures basically of the African rhythmic influence and Western European style of music. Jazz used to be dancing music, it used to be the popular music in the 1920s all the way until the early 50s I would say. So what people did back then, they would go to a ballroom and bring their dancing shoes and dance or just hang out and basically listen to a band, which usually be a big band. Now I'm going to ask Israel to play a New Orleans style marching beat. So you notice that now the two and fours are a little bit more accented. I'm going to join Israel because it sounds so good. It's all about the conversation between the members of the band. And if there's a dialogue happening, Especially specifically between um, the soloist and the drummer, I would say, but really with everybody, that means that the music is alive and something good is happening. This time I would like to ask you to play a little less. Okay, play less notes, but the notes that you play, I want them to have like a strong rhythmic identity. Okay, so play patterns, kind of like a few rhythmic patterns, or maybe play one pattern and then pause and see the effect it has, and then repeat this pattern. Okay, okay. go ahead. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and beat placement are the core components of our time field. Then we have syncopation and rhythmic motif development. This is what I call rhythmic consciousness. Okay, it's your awareness to rhythm. It shows that you construct your ideas from the point of view of the rhythm. Beat placement is again very unique and it's a major part of the message and the tone that the musician expresses. I will play a solo and I will put an emphasis on playing a relaxed kind of behind of the beat feel and then Roy will play a solo and his, his emphasis will be on playing on top of the beat. better really than to learn from the masters. Miles Davis is one example, John Coltrane, Herbie Hancock, there are so many out there. Okay, but the important thing is when you learn from the masters um, is to really try and get deep, deep, deep into their field. 